Hi everyone, Janelle, your AC librarian here to talk to you about the photo ID policy for the winter 2021 semester. So we've updated the policy. It is now um, the following. Students must have a verified photo in their MyAC account in order to be eligible to write their final exams. This is an update versus past semesters that have been virtual. What is the same is that physical ID cards are not required during the virtual semesters. So who does this really impact? This policy affects students who are in their current semester taking classes right now in winter 2021 who do not have a photo in their MyAC account. So I'll show you where you can look for that. Um, so if you do not have a photo in your MyAC account, that means your professors cannot see your photo in the attendance list and they cannot verify you in the official course listing, then this applies to you and you need to upload the images in our Canvas course, the AC Photo ID course. So to check to see if you have a photo in your My AC, you'll log on to your My AC profile. And on the left-hand uh, menu, you'll see my profile and that will show a square. And if you have a photo, you should see it. And if you don't, it should just be um, sort of like a, uh, an empty box. So if you do not have a photo, please listen to the rest of this video and follow the steps. The steps are as follows. Anyone who does not have a photo in their MyAC account who is registered right now has received an invitation to join this Canvas course called AC Photo ID. You've received an email and it should pop up when you log into your Canvas account. This is really important that you accept the invitation in order to fulfill the requirements. And there's two requirements within the course. One, you need to upload a copy of your government photo ID. So we accept passports from your country of origin or BC driver's license or BC services card. We will not accept driver's licenses from other uh, provinces or states. Second is you'll have to upload a photo for your MyAC profile. The guidelines on what we will accept are in the course, but a couple of quick things are, th um, you cannot have sunglasses, you cannot have a hat on. If you have glasses, there cannot be a glare across your eyes. So I would have to take my glasses off here. We would prefer that you have a plain background behind you. Uh, we wanna make it as professional as possible. So please try your hardest to get a high quality photo. Once you've submitted both those things, the library staff will be reviewing it and we will mark them as complete or incomplete. So you can watch in Canvas in the course to see, yes, it's been marked complete. If so, then you can just wait for the photo to arrive in your MyAC profile. If it's marked incomplete or if we have a comment or a question for you, please monitor the Canvas course in your messages. We might ask you for uh, a new photo or a new scan of your ID if it's too blurry. Um, maybe there's a glare on your glasses and we can't verify. So please watch in case we do have further instructions for you. This is an example of the course in Canvas. So you'll see once you've accepted, it should show up in your dashboard. It's the AC Photo ID course. And once you log in, you'll see two assignments, a proof of identity and the AC Student Photo ID for your profile. These are two examples of government photo ID we would accept. So the first is a Canadian passport, for example, and the second is a BC services card. So both of these, um, you know, they need to be clear enough that we can read your name and date of birth um, and have your photo on them. Then for your profile photo, we've talked a little bit about some of the guidelines, and this is an example of how it would appear on your student card. Um, so remember, just from the sort of the shoulders up, uh, plain background and nice and clean and clear. If you have any questions about this process, please contact the library via email. It's library at alexandercollege.ca. You can also phone us via the student info line at 604-435-5815. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.